Hi friends, and this is Ashish Kumar. So in this tutorial, we will be looking into how to make a smooth scroll view. So first of all, let me uh, give you the brief concept. Uh, uh, here I am using the HTML, HTML CSS and JavaScript to develop the application to iPhone or iPhone uh, Android. So here I am using the PhoneGap technology to build the application to iphone simulator so first of all let's see what happens to the page when there is a long list of content inside the html so for this uh, let me declare the ul then inside the ul we'll have a number of allies a large number of allies okay so let's this is a demo so let me repeat this to multiple times so we can have a long list of li okay so I think repeating the whole section will be better now it has a multiple li so let's check the output so I am using the Xcode to build the application now you can see that with a long list of content the whole page tends to be scrollable but our requirement will be we will make this header constant and we will make the rest of the section as scrollable so for this need to declare some styling for the ul so let's go to the style sheet now for ul need to first declare the position so I am positioning this to absolute now you can check that I have declared the header to a height of 80px so we need to set the top of this container to 80px so that it is not overlapping the header next uh, we need the excluding the header we need rest of the section to be scrollable until the bottom zero so need to set the bottom to zero okay to zero now we need the whole width so let's make it left zero as well as right zero now next our concern is to make the ul scrollable so for this we need to add the overflow property to auto so now now let's check how it looks now we can see that header is here and while scrolling the lower ul is only scrolling not the whole page okay this is our requirement but if you can see the scrolling is not so smooth or it is not so flexible so to make this smooth and flexible we need to add one CSS3 property known as webkit overflow scrolling webkit overflow scrolling and we need to set this value to touch event so now see the output now see the scrolling is too smooth and also responsive to the touch events so by this way we can declare a smooth scroll view for the ios and android remember that this css property will only work for android version greater than 3.0 so let's say if you are planning to have a same code for both android and ios version and uh, the android should be also supportable to 2.2 or 2.3 then you need some external library let's say the ice scroll so to have a same layout for the ice scroll and and this uh, css need to do some changes to the layout as per the ios as per the ice scroll uh, it requires 
टू डिप फर्स्ट वन विल बी द रैपर एंड सेकेंड विल बी द स्क्रोलर एंड योर कंटेंट नीड टू बी विद इन द स्क्रोलर सो फर्स्ट डिक्लेयर दट डिप अस रैपर नेक्स्ट टिप विल बी ए स्क्रोलर सो आई नीड टू इंडेन दिस सेक्शन टू दिस नाउ एंड द स्क्रोलर एंड एंड द रैपर so this will be the uh, this will be the layout of that html that will be supporting both the css3 as well as the i scroll so for that need to change some css now as in as you can see that previously we have used the ul as the wrapper for the container but now we have a separate div as a wrapper so just need to to set those this properties to the wrapper so let's make it with an absolute and top will be 80 as it will not overlap the header next the next will be the scroller so just we need to declare the scroller as position absolute Okay, this much. And then the UL will be with hundred percent only. Okay, so one more point you need to remember: while using the wrapper and scroller, you need to declare the Z index. So actually, it will make the layout more stable. So I can set the Z index of wrapper to ten, and can set the Jet index of scroller to one. Okay, so now check the uh, check this out. The output what it looks. So we can see that the output is same, same smooth and flexible with the new layout. So by this way you can have a same set of code for HTML for both. Uh, Android lower versions and for the Android and iOS, do supports this CSS3 property. That's all, friends. Thank you.